Welcome. Today I'm going to show you a demonstration and proper operation of the TT02RX from Elmo Corporation. The proper setup of the Elmo TT02RX is important. When it comes out of the box, the neck is backwards or away from you. Place the unit so the, you can spin the camera around and move the head into this position. This is the proper way is having the neck coming towards you, almost like a kitchen faucet. The button should be on your left hand side. The shooting plate is an optional piece that comes with the unit but does not have to be used. You place this in the corner under the camera. This gives you a white shooting surface as well as a good orientation of where to place a page so it'll appear on the screen in frame. Now let's take a look at the back of the unit. We've made all the connections easy by putting very noticeable icons for connections. This is for the power cord. This is for a future product upgrade. This is RGB out. This is the connection that you make to go to your projection device. This is RGB in. This would be a cable that you would connect from your PC to the document camera. This allows you to pass your computer signal through the document camera to your projection device. With a simple switch, flip of a switch on the document camera, you can go from live document camera to your PC on the screen. This is a video output, standard analog video. If you wanted to place it into a standard television set or to a VCR if you want to record everything that's going on. This is the USB connection that would connect to your PC. This will allow you to use the software that's included, called the ImageMate software. This slide switch, slide to change the resolution output. We have XGA, we have WXGA, and SXGA. Please check with the manufacturer of your projector to make sure that you set the switch to match the resolution of your projector. Again, setup is a snap. We plug our power in. We plug our cable that goes to our projector. We plug our cable that goes from our PC to the Elmo, so you can pass the computer signal through to your projector. And we connect the USB cable so I can use the software on my PC. On the left side of the TTO2RX is an SD card slot. You can use this card slot to capture images and play them back right from the document camera. Any SD card will work. It doesn't matter the size. Place the, the card in the slot, push it in until it clicks, and you're now ready to capture images. Remember that all document cameras, including Elmo's, require a projection device to put the image on a screen. Document cameras do not project images themselves. If you rotate the light, the camera head, you notice that there's a light on the bottom. This light is an LED. It can be used to add fill light to the document or three-dimensional object that you may be showing. The camera has quite a bit of flexibility. As you can see, the camera head can go down and the camera can rotate to look at objects from more than just one point of view. You can also use it as a student camera by pointing it back at the students who may want to come up and give a presentation or show an object that doesn't fit underneath the, the, the camera shooting straight down. You can also rotate the camera head back towards you and it can now be a teacher cam.
The black knob is to zoom the image in towards you, zooms the image closer. The orange button in the center is for autofocus. To zoom the image out, move the knob away from you. This is the power button. On the main unit, it glows blue when it's on. Holding it down turns red. The unit is now off. The menu button brings up the, the on-screen menu of all the other features on the document camera. These buttons here select several features of the document camera. Notice when I turn the unit on, it is blue over the icon of the document camera. That means that the document camera is now live on the screen. Hitting the PC button will switch to my PC that I have connected through the document camera. Notice it lights blue to let you know that that's the input that we're showing on the, doc on the screen. The SD card button, when pressed, brings up playback of all the images that you've captured and allows you to play them back. Going back to live document camera will allow you to use the camera icon which will snap additional pictures and put them on your document camera SD card. The center button is freeze. By pressing this button, it'll freeze the image up there, which will allow you to shuffle papers and put something else on the document camera. Hitting the button again will unfreeze the image. These buttons here are manual iris control. Depending on lighting conditions, you hit the up button to allow more light in and the down button to decrease the amount of light. 